Hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture uh, we would like to open the new topic and that is the treatment of the difference equations with the shift operator. Namely, uh, we will start by introducing the difference equations and the main operator that is used in the difference equations. So difference equations and shift operators. We will see that shift operators are operators which have the meaning of the operators of differentiation with respect to time in the case of differential equations. Namely, if we consider just a x dot, which is dx by dt, equal ax plus bu, we see that the time differentiation is the operator that operates on the state x and with the terms on the right side, it completely determines the dynamical evolution or dynamical features of the system. In the same way, uh, we have uh, for the difference shift operators, shift operators, and in particular we are going to look in two types of shift operators one is a forward shift and the second is a backward shift and backward shift shift operator. What the forward and backward shift operators are essentially. Think about discrete signal x of k that is forwarded one instance in time in the future. So this is the forward shift operator. Essentially it takes xk signals, applies to xk and shifts this index to the k plus 1. This is the forward. In the same way the backward shift operator takes the signal x of k and shifts backwards or delays it for the one sample instance. This is backward. If we think about this backward operator, we can say that this pretty much delays the signal. It's also called delay operator because it delays the signal xk one time instance. Therefore, we have that forward and backward operators are essentially time operators, which in the case of forward, shift signal one instance ahead of the time, current time k, and in the opposite case, they shift backward or they just delay signal for one time instance. Having this in mind, if we look how to realize simple continuous system AX plus BU, and we already learned that this can be realized easily by some k 
arcane elements, summation elements. Put here as a summation element. of these two signals such that this generates x dot we place this into integrator this is x of t and here we have a, a. such that this equation is realized and if desired output is y of t, we can say that this state space realization with a simple gain elements a and b, summation element, yields input output representation. In other words, we have that we can write formally u of t multiplies this entire box which is transfer function g and yields y of t signal in other words this state space realization where for the differential equation we use the integrator yields this input output relationship so what about the finite difference equations. In the same way, if we consider that we have a x k plus 1, phi x k plus gamma u of k y of k x of k system, for example, and we are interested how to utilize either backward or shift, uh, uh, backward or uh, forward shift operator. We can now, in the same way, apply one of these operators. For example, we are going to use the delay of backward shift operator, and we are going to generate the state space realization k plus 1 which we are going to send to the delay or backward shift operator use the phi and by doing this, we also obtain the input output or similar way transfer function representation of the system. <coughs> okay, excuse me. And if we have all of this, let us just look at a simple example of construction of the transfer function in the case when we use operators. So, example, let's consider x, k, plus 1, is equal a of x of k, plus b u of k. And if we use the forward shift operator, operator, we see the following that x of k 
multiplies q yields xk plus 1. Which implies that we can write q x of k on the left side of the equation because this expression essentially is coming from this is equal a of x of k plus b u of k after shifting this term to the other side and then dividing we obtain that q minus a u of k is again expression that provides now expression for the transfer function that relates input and output in this case. So in this case we have a sum g transfer function that is function of this forward shift operator and these uh, essential constants a and b. So in the same way we can treat the equation without losing the generality by shifting entire equation x k minus 1 plus b u k minus 1 it's just the shifting the index so we didn't do generality and if we use backward shift in this case we have that x of k multiplies q minus 1 and yields the x of k minus 1. So with these two we obtain that x of k is equal a q minus 1 x of k plus b u of k minus 1 which finally becomes again x of k equal 1 minus a q minus 1 b u but since u k is equal u k minus 1 is equal u of k minus 1 we can add here q minus 1 and have a u of k in other words we again obtain a representation in the input output form where this is the input of the system and this is the output of the system and this is now some transfer function that is given again in the form of this back shift or just delay operator and it's given in the form of these b and a essential gains in other words by using these backship operator we can generate the transfer functions which relate the input and output and transfer function with the forward shift operators are usually frequently used for the purpose of the determining the system properties while the transfer functions with the back shift operator or delay operator are used when we want to realize, realize the system. So realization of the system is going to be ultimately done with a delay or back shift operator. I'll just put here delay operator because we just delay the signal for one time instant. This is how it's simple to realize this with a digital circuitry. In the next lectures we are going to see 
that this backshift operator q minus 1 in the complex discrete transfer function system representation is going to have the same meaning as the variable z minus 1. And we're going to talk more about that.